Hi, this is Steve from SewingGold.com, and I wanted to show you the presser foot lift on the, this DU1181. Um, so, of course, you're going to get your highest lift with your knee lift. So right now I'm moving my knee lift. With the hand lift on the back of the machine, we're not going to get much for lift. As you can see, it barely goes up very high, probably less than a quarter of an inch. Okay, so make sure that your presser foot lift is down. Okay, so let me show you where that is. I have to get up. All right, so press the foot lift up, press the foot lift down. Always when we're sewing, we want it in this position. When we're not sewing, you could bring it up if you'd like. Okay, down position. Here we go. All right, so our knee lift right here. One of our customers was asking about sewing uh, some three ounce leather. Uh, she had uh, she wanted to do four ply of three ounce leather. I don't know. I just sewed this in another video. I, like I said, I wasn't sure if this is leather or, or fake leather, uh, but this is fairly thick for um, what I would think of as leather. It's mushy, so it's not too hard, but three ounce, I'm assuming, would be maybe something similar to this. So I'm going to fold this over. Here's my four layers, all right? And then my foot, I'm going to put in the up position, and then, as you can see, I could fit this under here without a problem and then it's going to compress it down, okay? You wanna make sure that it compresses down. So what happens is, if it doesn't compress it down, I want you to watch this. Let's see, I'm in, I've got a tripod here, so sorry about this. So, on here, when I raise the knee lift all the way up, okay, I'm gonna show you this. You see the discs release, okay? You wanna make sure that when it's down on your material, the discs are not open like that, okay? So when, as you can see, when my foot goes down, the discs go back down. If your discs are open and your foot's down, then maybe you have too much material underneath there, and then you're gonna get bunches of thread underneath because there's not gonna be any tension on your top and the bottom's just gonna pull all the tension from the bobbin case down. All right, so right now mine compresses no problem. If you're not getting that type of lift, I'm gonna go back over here, sorry. I'm gonna put the tripod back down just so I can sit down, sorry. All right, so if you're not getting that type of lift, a uh, couple things. On this machine, if I move the hand wheel, as you can see right now, I just made this outside foot lower. So to get it high in the highest position, I'm almost putting my tape take up lever, which is this piece right here, all the way in the up position. So now my foot, my presser foot here, I need an assistant. That's what I need to help me with these videos, right? Okay, so now my foot, when I lift it all the way up, is that they're both, the feet are about even, so they're at, at the highest position. So now if I put this underneath here, I could sew. Here we go, we're gonna sew. Oh, I went off. Let's go through it again. And that's with the size 20 needle, so that's no problem because this leather is not all that dense. Pull it out. And our tension's fine. So let's just say that your foot is not raising this high, all right? Um, it's not raising high enough to put this four layers through here. What you're going to want to do is go underneath the machine, and I'm going to pull this off the tripod now, and I'm going to show you what you need to do. Okay, I'm going to pause it for one second. So now I am under the machine, and I'm looking at what controls the knee lift. Okay, so here's your knee lift right in front of you. All right, and then we are going to look at this nut here. This nut and that screw right there, okay? What I'm gonna to wanna to do is I wanna loosen this nut and then loosen this screw a little bit. Don't loosen it too much because you don't wanna overdo it where your knee lift is going too high or where your foot's going too high, okay? So you, if, you, if your foot is not high enough, you could loosen this screw, but of course you have to loosen the lock nut first. So this nut is locking it in place. Loosen this with a 10 millimeter wrench and then loosen this screw just a little bit, and then you're gonna get your foot to raise a little higher. All right, and that'll get the foot up more. So if we're looking at mine, head on,
pretty high. Uh, if you want it higher, I wouldn't put it much higher than that because this machine, I think, is rated either at a half inch or nine sixteenths of an inch. Um, and like I said, and that's with the presser feet even like that, okay? So hopefully this was a decent video where you understood what I was saying. Um, if you have any questions, leave comments below. Sorry for all the shakiness and the tripod. I just got it. it I need an assistant. So I'm going to have to pull Jose in here to, to get him to help me with some of these videos. All right, if you have any questions, just leave them below, and we'll try and answer them best we can. Thank you.